What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to BC Garage Kicks and Whips. And today is Friday. It's the Friday before um, the release of the new Gym Reds. And yeah, uh, I put in for a reservation on the regular sneakers app, you know, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs and all that stuff. But this wasn't that. Yesterday, Nike did a thing where they offered uh, reservations if you were within a certain vicinity of a Nike store. Not a Nike outlet, but an actual Nike store. And I was able to reserve a, a size eight and a half. I only went for money size because I told you guys I'm not looking to keep these shoes. I have these. And yes, I am trolling them because I have these. I'm going to wear these all weekend long. You're probably wondering, you know, do you have a Nike store near you? I don't. I only have a factory outlet. But I did a little thing and I and it puts me in New York City, which is about two hours away from me. And I was not going to uh, cop those at all. I was just going to cancel it and say, you know, send them on to someone else. But I did speak to my wife. It's Friday evening. We have nothing going on. And she was like, you know what? I don't mind going to New York City with you if you want to drive up there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to pick them up. And uh, maybe I'll do a little vlogging of the New York City uh, Nike store. I don't think I've ever been in there. And maybe I think after New York City taxes, tolls, gas, and dinner tonight in New York, probably some New York style pizza, I might break even a, a night sponsored by Nike. I'll take it. Let's go. For those that were wondering, these are what these look like on feet. They are fire. So I might have done something here a little bit risky. Uh, I did a thing where I actually sold the shoes on StockX just a few minutes ago. And it could bite me in the butt if I don't get there and pick those shoes up. Something I don't like to do, but I did it because I wanted to sell them before uh, people started getting their reservations at 5.45 or 5, whatever time they, they come and the prices drop. So I, I just want to, you know, get a good price for them so I can pay for this trip at least break even. But we're only 4.6 miles away about to go through the Lincoln Tunnel. We're going to basically spend 45 minutes in the Lincoln Tunnel. And I'm in the line to get through the Lincoln Tunnel. And I've never been in this much traffic going into the tunnel, but I've never came at this time of the day on Friday evening. It keeps readjusting the time that we're going to get there right now. It says 729, so I got 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes buffer. I already sold the shoes, so I don't know. All right, we made it to the city, just came out the tunnel. So anybody who's never been to New York, this is basically what it's like. <laughs> this is just a Friday evening, nothing special. So we're looking for uh, 6th Avenue, it's right down here. All right guys, we have made it. Ah, we're inside. Never been in here before? This John. It's like the Jordan section. It's like an underground basement level. Done. We have shoes. Spend a little bit of time in New York City. Like I said, get some grub and bounce out of here. See ya. Look at this little hall place here. Here's my ride waiting for me. I gotta stop doing that. Do not sell shoes before you have them in hand. Don't do that. That was nerve wracking. Sitting at that tunnel entrance. Man. Don't do that. Don't be like me. I live life dangerously. All right, I'm gonna go grab some grub. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video right now. Next video, we're gonna go ahead and take a deep dive into these shoes. And, uh, and I'm gonna do a comparison between what I got on and what I got in the bag. So like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. I'm out of this joint. Later. Yeah.